Let's make three really fun spring crafts using these Dollar Tree lunch bags. So you're gonna take a basic technique of twisting the lunch bag around on your hand. Then we're gonna turn this first one into a nest by adding some Spanish moss and some decorative speckled eggs. I'm stuffing it all into this Dollar Tree globe super easy and then I wanted to tuck a couple of little pieces of greenery in there as well just to kind of add some extra now we're gonna add e6000 and hot glue to adhere the plate you are watching southern crush at home and if you love this video I would super and love to invite you to subscribe hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you can be alerted every time I put out one of these videos so on top of the clear Dollar Tree plate that I um, glued to the globe, I'm gonna add this little stencil. And I was super careful at first because I really thought I was gonna do the bumblebee in a different color. But at the end of the day, I did the bumblebee in the same color and I only skipped over the words because I wanted to see uh, the nest through the clear plate. So once this was done, I peeled and revealed my stencil onto the plate and this is how it turned out. I'm in love. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Super simple, so springy. Look at the nest, look at the little goodies in there. You could really go to town and get creative with whatever you wanted to add to your nest. Okay, project number two, we're gonna take the same lunch bags and we're gonna cut out these just rabbit shaped ears super easy look guys there's no template you just cut these out at angles as if they were rabbit ears then i'm going to take a second lunch bag open it up and crumple it into a ball stuff it into this sack for some bulk that's all it is now i'm going to tie just a piece of yarn around where we cut the ears out and make it um, look like little bunny ears. So I'm just kind of moving them about a little bit. And then for fun, we're gonna make our own pom-pom. You can buy some at the Dollar Tree or you can grab one of these Magnolia um, Design Company pom-pom makers. And I'll link that in the comments below. Um, but you're just gonna wrap your yarn around and around and around until it's about as big of a pom-pom as you want. And then I'm gonna take a separate piece of yarn and wrap it around just the back of this um, ball of yarn and then I'm gonna pull it off of my pom-pom maker and tie it tight then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut out all of those loops on both sides of my pom-pom this is gonna kind of bring out all of the little uh, pieces of yarn and then I just trim them up just kind of make them really nice and evened up kind of giving it a haircut this is the most fun part and then you're gonna fluff it just like this boom i added it to our bunny and put it on a plate for the easter table what do you think i ended up adding a cute little spring hot pink gingham check bow to the bunny ears i'm in love let me know so for the third project i wanted to do a little bit more um, of the real reason for easter with a cross so we all know that uh, our Christ uh, Jesus rose on the third day. And speaking of roses, uh, I wanted to make some of my lunch bag roses. If you're new to me, you probably missed my past videos. I'll link a couple in the comments below where I use the same technique, but we're just making these lunch bag paper roses super easy, I promise. And you'll get addicted just like me. All right, so I don't know exactly how many that was. You can count it later. I will tr I will put it in the comments below when I figure it out. But we're just gonna glue these onto the Dollar Tree uh, wire cross frame. So you just get creative with the way that you apply them. Some of them you're gonna wanna spread out a little bit more than others. And others you just kinda wanna put them on there like they are. This is so fun because it is so simple. Anybody can make this wreath. I'm calling it a wreath. It's a cross. I am gonna put it on my front door, but um, I'm calling it a wreath. And I just wanted to make sure that they both fit at the top and they did. Let's see here, did we count them? Okay, we'll count them in a second. Now I decided to add some white chalk paint 
to these roses. You could do any color you want, or you could even start with white bags. But I decided to just add a touch of white chalk paint to each of these roses, just to make them pop a little and be a little more spring colored. Let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like I have nine paper bag roses here. Painting all around the edges, getting all of them covered. Not all the way, it's kind of a rough, a rough paint with a chip brush, um, but I, I absolutely love the effect that the chip brush gives. So once I got the paint on all of these roses, I decided to hit it with a little bit of heat gun uh, so that it would dry a little more quickly. I'll link the heat tool below in case you don't have one and you want to check mine out. I absolutely love, love, love my heat gun. So you could totally go with this design, leaving it just as it is. I think it's really pretty the way it is. You could add some of your own flowers to the center, however you wanna finish it off. I personally decided to add three little sprigs of greenery off of another wreath I had made. So I cut some floral wire and wrapped it around these three sprigs of greenery. Two for the top and one for the bottom so that it would lay just right on my cross. I hot glued these to the center piece, as you will see. And, uh, and then I decided to also make a bow for the center piece as well. And this is actually a bow I made previously, but it is my triple layer bow. And I will link, I think I have a video for that too. I'll link it there. Just added a generous bit of hot glue to it, put it in the center and I love it absolutely love it I really want to know your comments below this is on my front door now for the Easter season the spring season the Easter holiday what do you think I just used a couple of zip ties look at the white paint on those roses absolutely I love it you guys I didn't know how much I would love it but I really really love it I hope you do too I hope you're inspired to go create some things with some Dollar Tree brown paper lunch bags. All right, I will see you all on the next video.